is a good track. Yeah, I dig this one. I mean, it's in the chill thing, so you expect it to be chill, but I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, hi. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's Adventure Tuesday, and uh, I'm starting a new game. Uh, this is going to be uh, a run of an FMV game called Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Uh, it came out in 2020. Just uh, when just just when things were going sideways uh, in May, apparently, of uh, the year the forgotten year 2020. Do you remember when Australia was on fire at the start of 2020? Because that's the thing that also happened that everyone just kind of forgot about. I mean, probably not Australia. They probably still remember it a little bit, but the rest of the world. Um. So yeah, this one your radio host going through supernatural stuff. I don't really know much about it, to be honest. But a fun fact, uh, I actually tried to do a voice on this show. Uh, they were having open auditions for uh, radio callers. And so, you know, I, I tried. And obviously, I didn't get it. And it's obvious because if I had been in this game, if they had uh, selected me to do the lines, uh, I would have played this game a lot sooner. <laughs> um, like, as soon as it came out, I would have played it and like, whoa, guess what? But I didn't. So that's okay. Uh, because I didn't, I just waited for it to go on a sale at some point, and I picked it up, and it's just been sitting in my GOG library just waiting, waiting for a time, and that time is now. I'm going to hit the play button. I should have done this earlier, but I didn't, so we're all going to find out together whether it works or not. Uh, let's go top right. We haven't done top right in a while. Also, good evening, Pokemon Freak. Nice. With Poe and Monroe. This is done by the same people who did Shapeshifting Detective and... Oh, crap. Another game that has an obnoxiously long title. Hold on. Uh, The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Right. Which is quite the name for something that I've never heard of. Um, Do I care about anything in here? Triple buffering? I don't even know what that's for. Subtitles? Absolutely. Ooh, I like how you've got a scale. Confirm. Alright. You've never heard of this before? Well. Oh, cool. We already saw this, but yeah, we'll do it again. Ooh. I always love these visualizations. Wait, are we just doing the tri the the credits at the start? Guess so. I'm sorry, who? All right. Well, now I think I know why I didn't get a voice in this. I was I was trounced by Justin McElroy, one of brothers three. All right see how it is could have had anyone but instead they went for a guy who is famous for playing Dark fmvs Knights. and other things and yeah uh justin mcroy apparently is the voice of frankie good evening you know you're listening to radio august dark night teeth and monroe Uh. Oh, okay. Fun fact: helicopters can cause lightning strikes. Hmm. I suppose we should send ours back then. We have a helicopter. Why are you talking like that? Yes, Monroe. We have a helicopter. And on that note, 
What's next, Monroe? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. Oh, the, 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 this over enunciation. Like you have a choice. Okay then. What shall I choose? Let me see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Per purse. I choose an early night. You'll be fine without me, won't you? You're leaving me, Monroe. Good night, Poe. Good night, August. Sweet dreams. Wait, what? Monroe? I'm just kidding, Poe. As if I would ever leave our listeners at your mercy. The lady almost vanished, August. Perhaps I'll have to keep her on a shorter leash. What? Sit, girl, sit. Good girl. I bite. I there's like it. And now it's there's a lot of really things. weird energy going on right now that is making me Dreams. wickedly uncomfortable. With Pearl Excellent and Monroe. choice, Monroe. I didn't have one really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe, but that doesn't. Okay. Maybe you should try interpreting the next call of this dream, Poe. I fear I would lack your warmth and insight. You have the ability to turn even the most ghoulish visions into something hopeful. Not always. Do you suffer from nightmares, Munro? Doesn't everyone? Tell me about Okay, that. I also was not nearly dramatic or melodramatic enough in my uh, submission, I'm realizing now. I can't see. I'm stumbling around trying to feel my way in the pitch black, but I keep bumping into people. It's like I'm trying to push through this crowd, but they don't know that I'm there. Perhaps you're so is she an English accent. person putting on an American accent? Maybe. But I'm not interested in them. They're just in my way. The way it's like I'm she's... searching for something. The number nine. But what does nine represent, Poe? Well, according to Dante, there are nine levels of hell. Thank you for putting your hands up, well, just in case. I feel so much better now. I did warn you. Perhaps you should help our next caller. They're already waiting. Oh my god, the acting. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well, yes. Thank Hello, you. Justin McElroy. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. <laughs> okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August. And wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about. What's either. up, Poe? What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan, Monroe. What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. But there's only one warden. And the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry. It plumes its feathers, but my bird? The one that calls me? Oh, my bird? In him. And... She's caged. <clears throat> Munro, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. <laughs> well, I think um, we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the warden jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned <laughs> you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so I'm just going to stop. Yeah, we're going to... I've cut the call. Is that a good idea? Well, what was I supposed to do? Help him. He needed help. Did he? Don't encourage him, Alice. These kinds of things must be nipped in the bud. Are we still live? Sorry, listeners. <laughs> this was a very strange <clears throat> call. I hope you'll agree. Frankie. So this is AM radio, if you're right? Still listening, I do apologize for Poe. He can get very protective. I kind of get your analogy now. Do I, Munro? Very well, then. Standing down. Oh, listeners, oh, Jesus Christ. 
Who's going on frowny face? <laughs> this is internet radio? God, is this like the radio that people used to do like on this, Winamp way back in the day? What is it? It's nothing. Give it to me. How long is the break for? Give it to me. All in good time, so how long? Three minutes. Okay, I'm going to make some tea for us. You stay here. You're making tea for me. I do it all the time. What's going on? God, there's a weird energy. Give me the note or I'm leaving. Of course, we must have continued drama, mustn't we, Alice? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, I don't like Poe. <laughs> Poe makes me wickedly uncomfortable. Oh! I'm going to kill you. Alright. What the hell, Poe? Why were you hiding this from me? It's just some psychotic listener, that's all. You got more than one? Not necessarily. We have lots of psychotic listeners. How can you joke about this as a death threat? It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. Are you? People see you as a celebrity. It makes them do abnormal things, but they're just normal people. When did you find it? Mm. Someone slipped it under the door. 30 just seconds now? ago. Well, yes, but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the last few weeks. Weeks? Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Maybe, but never when I've looked. Oh. It isn't locked, Alice. People can just walk in anyway. Nah, crack that door, baby. Oh. There. I told you, there's nothing to worry about. T? You're not going out there. You're going live. It has been like three minutes. I think I'm gonna go home. Don't be like that. How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. What if I'd been killed? You know, I'd never let anyone hurt a single hair on your head. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. I really don't. Let's not get into that now. We're back with our listeners in three, two. You'd have been a sacrificial shish kebab if it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh, Bo, that sounds like a great story, but it'll have to wait because we're back with our listeners and more dreams and nightmares. Okay, who's our next listener? <laughs> it's Frankie again. Put him through. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Didn't finish what I had to say. I'm sorry about that. You can carry on now. Sometimes the radio gets too much. It makes me frustrated. So I go into the belly of the beast and I hide and I listen and I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course, there he's are in no the fucking building. Poe. The belly of the beast. Have you been leaving messages, Frankie? Yes, John. <laughs> yes, I have. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? I'm going to kill you. I see. And why would you dream about wanting to kill me, Frankie? It's not a dream, John. <laughs> I'm coming for you. And Alice. I don't think you are. I think you're spinning us an impish tale, Frankie. Impish. Your little notes and dream your little dreams. But you're not brave enough to act on them, are you, Frankie? Oh, stop it! What are you waiting for, Frankie? We're sitting ducks. Don't worry, Monroe. He's just bluffing. 
And then the power goes out. <clears throat> Don't! I'm not hiding, Munro. You're going to get yourself killed. Hide. Oh, Hi. didn't pick. <laughs> that is not a fast timer. Or not a slow timer. Uh. Um. Hi. I mean, yeah, probably. Yes. No. Are we? Very possibly. <laughs> um. What? I have been playing this game for less than 20 minutes. It was self defense, wasn't it? It's not really self-defense if you antagonize them. And you also stabbed him like eight or nine times. After like three, I think it stops being self-defense. You saved me. You saved both of us. We've seen that required to eliminate the threat isn't kosher. Yeah, it's it's like wildly difficult to actually prove that in in uh, Canada. Uh, like self defense is is very difficult, especially when you start to involve a weapon. I thought she was gonna kill Poe. I mean, <laughs> when I was twelve, my father died. I murdered him. He was I stabbed him. His bike to work, and he got hit by a bus. School bus. That's why I hate school buses. School bus. And school. It was all over very quickly, but I was at the back of the bus and I could see everything. Okay, this guy's accent didn't move. Drifted. Didn't get up. Died instantly. But the image of it somehow stayed with me. You think? It doesn't anymore. I couldn't tell you what it looked like. Mother told me a secret. Oh, There's because he was doing a radio character. Oh. Did, did Poe kill anyone? Did yes, Poe killed Frankie. Justin McElroy has been murdered. But you can. Or has he? Pick one of these. Naranga. Now hold it tightly in your hands and close your eyes. Now what? Think of your most troubling memory from this evening and imagine the object you're holding is. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was, I know it wasn't actually him. So you can see. Spiritually, it's him. Okay. You have to make yourself believe that the object is there. Okay, it's there. Now open your eyes. Now what? Throw it away. When you throw it away, it will take that memory with it. Man, this is some new age bullshit. And if it doesn't? It definitely will. <laughs> I'm gonna inject you uh, with some 
amnesia uh, fluids. Don't worry, you'll forget the last 24 hours ever happened. Yeah, um, Fear is a Frankie monster was in the building, and then he Only in our Po opened the door, and Frankie attacked him, and then next thing we know, Po stabbed him like a bajillion times. A few nights ago, that <clears throat> monster came knocking at our door, and well, we all know what happened next. We would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to <laughs> everyone at the August Police Department for coming to our rescue. And on a more positive note... We've got our whole show ahead of us. What aura pleasures can our listeners look forward to tonight, Monroe? First up, I'll be making sense of symbols in dreams and nightmares. And then Poe will be showing me his... Nightmares. Oops. Got a little excited there, Poe. That wasn't me. My hands are over here. <laughs> oh, good. We've got a haunting. Power cut? Apparently so. Or we have a ghost in the machine. Super analogy. Listeners, uh, we're experiencing some... Who are you talking to if the power went out? Studio. If you can still hear us, please let us know. I think we're on our own. I think my phone's here somewhere. Did you pay the electricity bill, Alice? John, you're going to have to let go of my hand. I'm not holding, I'm not your... holding your hand. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody here. And yet. <clears throat> I like how they put a fake flashlight on. Just you and me. Because it would throw off the shot. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little jumpy. Understandable considering. But you have nothing to fear. When Poe is here. Is Poe actually the bad guy? For the occasional knife wield in stock. Frankie didn't bring a knife. <laughs> a flashlight knife? What? Flashlight with a knife tape to it? I told you, Alice. Mm. It's a flashlight on I the handle, know. on the butt of the handle, and a knife on the front. Or and now top. Let's see if we can get us back on the air. I do like and knife light. Back. Did you miss us? Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Our funding's running out, isn't it? Months ago. How do we pay it back? A radiothon. In bed with Poe and Monroe. Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. It's Millicent. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. The station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. We can get another job. You're safe, man. Dark Nights. With Poe and Monroe. Did I just play like, the demo or something? Oh, these are all the choices. Interesting. I like how it's 50-50 for let Poe or Monroe cover up the murder. Huh. We'll have to replay this at some point, perhaps. Just to see what the different choices do. Anyways, next episode. What celebrity voice will we have tonight? <clears throat> Someone's co ring. Honest, all right, okay. I don't know these names. I like these visuals though. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe.
Our funding's running out, isn't it? Months ago. Poe! How are we still here? My rainy day savings. You can't use that. That's for you and your family. No, you're right. Think of it as a, as a loan. Okay, well, how do we pay it back? We send a seed of hope. Are they in a relationship? I really can't tell. I really, really can't tell. Or we could have a fundraiser. Yes, a radiothon. I'm thinking a 24-hour sponsored broadcast. We could call it In Bed with Poe and Monroe. You think people will pay us to sleep together in bed for 24 hours? No, silly. You're not about to sleep. Did we really need that camera? Yes, Poe. It's proof that we stayed here for 24 hours. Okay. I, I don't even want to pick. I'm just going to let the game do whatever it's going to do here. If the station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. Everything will be fine, Ellis. I've set up our donation pages, and the amounts are already wrong. The tend to cuddle with my coworkers, too, so How it can be hard to... Hey! 15. I don't know. 100? No, 15 pounds. In, in today's modern world, I'm not going to, I'm not going to presume wow. anything. You weren't kidding. I don't mean to get your hopes up, but um, that was my donation. You donated 15 pounds yourself? People do it all the time. It's not cheating. I want us to stick around too. Thanks, Paul. Me too. Here we go. What she's wearing doesn't really seem platonic. Welcome back, listeners. That was well. If they're trying to get like you know donations, and it's time to take your call. I mean, between the two of them, one has more sex appeal than the other. I can't see any callers. Is it working properly, Paul? It is the witching hour. Maybe everyone's gone to bed. So. We're totally alone. Huh. We could have lurkers. <laughs> no fans might be a better choice. It's true. What do you mean, lurkers? Uh, people that lurk but never join in. They're probably out there right now. They just like to watch. Listeners, right? <clears throat> Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. I should take this since nobody's listening. Hello, darling. Yes. So yes. What? No, I said I wouldn't be home for that. No. Hold on. <laughs> no, 24 hours. All at once. No, I'm not sleeping. They're broadcasting. Okay, then. Sit up. For anyone still listening, that was Poe taking a call from his wife. What? As far as son, I'm single and available. Yeah, you act like it too. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I don't know I what's don't happening. Know. I don't understand their relationship. How much have we raised? Hi, Kyoto. You love this game? Well, I am. They're having an affair. Oh, okay. Is it as long as it's just that? <laughs> That's very, but the energy has been so weird so far. What about you, Monroe? If you mean, have I ever been in bed with someone expecting greatness and then been sorely disappointed, then yeah, I'm getting deja vu. It's that positive attitude that brings deja vu to the yard. Deja vu. Speaking of, dear residents of August, please keep donating whatever you can afford. Let us keep making radio for you. 
There. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? Ooh. Bathroom. Of course. The actress English. I knew it. I knew it. Freshen up. Go back in. Be a queen. That was fun. Be a tired hallucinating queen. Uh, it's the wrong sound. So, okay, so they are having an affair. The energy was extremely weird. <laughs> I could not tell what, what was going on, so... Okay, that's fine. It's good shade. Good color for her. They flirt for the radio show, but as far as listeners know, they aren't a couple. Oh, okay. Monroe, you femme fatale. I'm feeling pretty sleepy, actually. Your lips, so luscious. God, Poe creeps me out. I should not. Well, lucky that's there, then. Ah, yes. The camera. Tiny piece of glass with an imaging sensor that protects us from evil. Makes a bit more sense if you've played the game before. Comfortable? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! What are you doing? We'll be live in a minute. Look at you. You're perfect in every way. And I can never have you. Okay, Buster, that's enough. You're gonna get my irritable just woken up slightly if you're not careful. You're not going anywhere, right? Stop being creepy. <laughs> I'm assuming Poe is being possessed. Presumably, right, Frankie? It makes more sense if you played the game of the shape-shifting detective. Did I click that in time? I don't know. I don't think I did. Wow, this is all wildly uncomfortable. I'm not okay with any of this. Stop fighting me. Did I just lose? I think I failed the game. Stick with me, dog. Well, I mean, if she's dead. There. We've got 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So I just failed the QG. Did you fall asleep? It's only been 12 hours. 12 hours? Yes. You look like you've seen a ghost. I had a nightmare. Dreams and nightmares with Poe and Monroe. No. He was real. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? I'm fine. Sleep deprivation. It's so hold on. What life. what does playing the shapeshifting detective no. before make this make yeah. more sense? So, fifteen minutes. Like uh, if you're willing to. I need the bathroom. Explain. He does good crazy. He does yeah. good like. Again. Captain Kirk crazy. It's Once the the a dr melodrama is through the roof. Weak and weary, over many acquaint and oh, the in, oh, are they in the previous in the shapeshifting detective? Nodded, nearly napping. Suddenly there came a tap. She doesn't love you. Hey, yo. You? you know who I am. It's Millicent. Uh. I just need to make a call. It's broken. Why? <clears throat> I'm not leaving you again. Please leave. Now. 
make me. <laughs> Edgar, you're being a terrible boy. Now why don't you come with me, like a good boy, and let me help you? What? No. Hey, ah. right, hold on. She can hold on. I've never seen skins, uh, you know, so I just I have no idea what I'll take your word for it. Bad dreams. Just Uh, are we playing PT now? Nope. No. It's a door. A door. A door. So I'm gonna have to have you played Doctor. No, I have played no This is my ah, first game bleak of these people. Each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Did you miss me? You're Lenore, aren't you? From the poem. Yes. You changed my name. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Nameless here forevermore. Why are you here? Because you're dying, Poe. I'm here to collect you. None of this, none of this is real, is it? You need to sleep now. I think that's probably the opposite of what I need to do. Rest. Can't you hear them calling you? I need to see Ellis. Murderer. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Is it, should I have played the previous games? Like, is that prior knowledge? Like, do I... Like, is this one of those things where I've dove headfirst into a universe that, like, oh? I'm missing a lot of plot? Oh, I can't click that. Oh, I can't click that. <laughs> oh, I, did, I think I clicked it. It'll make more sense. In what way will it make more sense? Okay, do I have to do I have to click the knee? Oh, I do have to click the knee. Okay. I'm there we go. Oh, is that you? Oh, spooky shit. This is like some Twin Peaks ass level stuff. Spooky town, spooky stuff happens. Oh? Okay. <clears throat> God, where are we? What's happening? But is this the first game that Maybe? features these two? What are you doing with that? Oh, no! There. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? <gasps> They're in shape shifting detectives? Okay. That. What? I think I own that. I'll have to check. I either Come own it or it's on my uh, we've got wish list. Minutes. Come with me. All right. Where are we going, Mrs. Poe? Are you really Poe? Cause, Governor. What's the jig? Poe. What? I don't. Can't be okay. <laughs> Or there's a potential murder victim there, so this may be a prequel. Oh, okay. Poe? Monroe? <clears throat> who is she? That's your question. <laughs> yes, that's a bit strange, Alice. Perhaps should have led with, um, why are we tied up? Well, I thought maybe you could ask that. A lover's tip, Edgar. This new one not up to snuff. What's she talking about? She thinks I'm the real Edgar Allan Poe. Well, you are named after him. I'm not Poe. I'm Poe. What's the plan, Poe? Get out. Mm. I 
feet so weak, Alice. The rope's too tight. I'd rather you stay tied up, to be honest. What? Why? She doesn't care about I don't... He's been killing these... me. What? These choices, I don't... Mm. Me. He wishes he was Edgar, but he can never be. Never be. That's why he's killing me? No, that's your dream. You think he's killing you, smothering the person you could be. Don't listen to her, Ellis. I'm so tired. I'm happy it ends this way, with you. I'm frightened, Paul. I love you, my mom. I love you too, Paul. Do you hear that, Paul? Do I'm also so tired. Yeah. John? <laughs> I get the energy. John, we need to end this. How do we get out of here? I'm sorry, dinner. Uh. Uh. Oh, was it carbon monoxide poison? Did I stop it right when that was what that was? Uh, I'm sorry. A ghost being murdered who was murdered by Edgar Allan Poe telling our two radio hosts to, quote, get woke? Uh. I just... <sighs> I mean, fun fact, carbon monoxide is, like, they're going to be out for a while if this is true. You should probably slow down that breathing. Oh, was there a choice to save? Well, oh well. Sorry, Poe. Off you go, buddy. <laughs> Man, the, the choices in this game are severe, and you do not get a lot of time to even witness them. It's strange, him not being here. I feel silly talking to myself. If he was here, he'd say, The show must go on, Monroe. The alarms are a lot louder. Yeah, they're viciously loud. Having installed one and it does the test beeping, it's fucking loud. Listeners? If you're squeamish, take a five-minute coffee break. Now. Okay. The rest of you? Last week, Poe and I were poisoned by carbon monoxide gases. A poor bird got stuck in our central heating flue and sadly passed away. I've been playing this game for about 40 minutes. And already two people have died. <laughs> the insurance and the bill for <clears throat> negligence. Our station is now fully funded. I'm not a selfish girl. Everything I do is for the good of others. But it always leaves me alone. I never killed those birds. I never fed those birds. I never put birds what? in the flu. Is this energy? This whole game is manic in a really specific way. <clears throat> and I didn't kill Paul either. The doctor says he'll be fine. They just need to keep him in for a few more days observation before they can let him out. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured. Go and visit him. 
<clears throat> oh, listeners, one more thing. Wait, did you just say go visit him? Radio August is my home now. And I'll do anything to protect it. It's so offbeat and weird. I mean, yeah, but in a really weird way. It's like... It feels like... A radio drama made by aliens who have only observed soap operas. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. He'd gone to insurance payout would uh, cover the entire debt ahead. without him dying. So what are you saying? We work the case ourselves. I don't know. You be good cop and I'll be bad cop. Yes, I'd like to report a kidnapping, please. I like how they're giving you a preview for the episode that I'm what literally about to play. To I don't have to <clears throat> the dots. I just see the final picture. <laughs> oh, more Justin McElroy. A similar sense of humor. No part of this has been funny so far. Well, okay, I wanted to kick Poe in the face. The 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 uh, quick time event was very quick. I made a lot of uncomfortable choices, apparently. Episode 3 is a fan service episode? Okay. Was her prancing around in, uh, like, a... I don't know what even that is called. It's not an agriculture, it's not that revealing, but, like, was that not fan service enough? Are we going to the beach? Is it... Is it a hot spring episode? Romper? Yeah. A sleep romper? Which seems like the most inconvenient romper to wear. But yeah, I made a lot of uncomfortable choices, apparently. <laughs> Anyways. It has a returning character from the last game. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not it's not the beach episode or the hot springs episode. <clears throat> My throat still hurts from being told to get woke. It could have been a topic. It could have been. I guess it could have been a two-piece. It's really hard to tell. I played the Hot Springs episode. I, maybe? I don't know, man. This game... I don't think I have been this... discombobulated from a game possibly ever. Just the, the, the energy. The energy in this game is throwing me... Just way off. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <clears throat> Call on line three. Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call then? Oh, we imagined it, huh? Yeah, of course we take the fucking call. What are you talking about? Who is it? <laughs> Good radio patter. Hello? He will die. Frankie? The boy. <clears throat> the order you do things is important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Okay, so Frankie's... Who is this? Listen, just listen. Okay. She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. I don't like that, Poe. <laughs> Nor <laughs> should you! <laughs> and here's Yvette on line two. I love your show. <laughs> Thanks, Yvette. I love your accent. What's it's your as fake as yours, as mine. My question is, <clears throat> do you care about people? That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just give you five. This whole game has got me on the back foot, man. So yes, of course. Please enjoy. For yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. So you don't care about people? No, I do care about people. Just I care about animals more. That's fair. So you care about animals more than people? 
Present company excluded, of course. So that's a yes and a no. Wait one moment of that. <gasps> so if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you hey, I have one of us, I literally ha wait. No, that's a knockoff of what I have. I'm just gonna let this one play out. I'm pretty sure it picks her. I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> nice 30 second pause you. there. And how long did you have to <clears> think <throat> about it? I don't know. Oops. I like to consider things. You have a split second. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or a cat? You. Aha. You that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm not a big cat fan. Oh. What? <laughs> Does that I'm also not a big cat that? fan. I think so. Pause makes it funnier. Oh, for sure. You have another dilemma. Maybe we can help you that. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer How more do you of dispose of a small boy's body? Until then, here's something <coughs> slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. A hostage? He's a boy from August I. I was close. Why is he a hostage, Yvette? I had a... Oh, yeah, he called her Ellis. Yeah, I know. But well, maybe it it know. kind of doesn't work anymore because... Uh, so you kidnapped him? After no, the Frankie event. I talked to Frank. Is he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet. But now that I've spoken to you, I'm probably just going to let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. Yvette, I was joking with Monroe. Thank you for your help. Hostage. <laughs> Did you get the number? Acting. No, withheld. Acting. <laughs> Maybe she was joking. Now Maybe here's the question. Just in case. Tell them what Are they said. good actors? Really? Doing I'm not sure. this? This wildly extra shit? Or... I know it's a sensible thing to do, but what if it isn't? Are they this? How can it not be? If it is a prank, we'll be wasting police time. If it isn't... The, the police will take action. This is the August police we're talking about here. That's like two this... guys and two You know what? Okay, you know what this feels like? Hold on. I don't want to keep talking over dialogue. This game... This game is a pantomime, but just for adults. That's what this is. This is a an adult based panto that is what this energy is that's where all this like everyone dialing it up to like 183 percent this this overacting um if it's all direction like this is uh calling the cops is probably safe uh yeah, well also in england they don't they don't have guns as often so at most she would probably just get beaten half to death. Um, but it's... It, yeah, this game is like a... Uh, oh, no, it isn't. What do you mean, Kyoto? This game is 100% uh, panto. It's just a dramatic panto. <laughs> it's got the exact... It has the same energy, the same manic weirdness. So, they're not busy then. So, they're useless. Well, okay, fine. probably be dead by the time DuPont's finished his sandwich. I'm calling the police. Fine. But we still have to do something. Go, I, I, I'm, I'm with Monroe, causing useless. Yeah, sir. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house. <laughs> Kyoto, you're saying oh yes and oh no's, and I don't know what to anymore. <laughs> Yvette has got Joe hostage. <clears throat> Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk Why? to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story to be run. Don't you want to go back to school? <clears throat> you clearly had a better chance. I like how this game has an option where you so can just kind of let it r yep. roll. That's settled then. Let's talk to the headmistress first. Oh, oh yes. Name? Yes, sorry. I didn't know you were doing a bit, Kyoto. Yes, a you're right. Uh, Pantos aren't nearly as popular in Canada. I've only seen a handful. Take a seat, both of you. Um, what is this? Like five or six in my whole life, so yeah. To complete your didn't, didn't make the connection. A little old for this institution. 
Sorry, you're mistaken. I have a degree in cryptozoology. But it's not a real degree. No, it isn't. It's okay, Pearl. She's messing with us. Really? Yes. I'm eccentric. Can't you tell? <laughs> in any other game, yes, we could tell you were eccentric. But in this game, you're carrying the same goddamn energy as everyone else. It's impossible to tell. Also, I like how every scene just has a single light. They couldn't pay for multiple lights. Eccentric has to... No, no. Well, uh, maybe. Well, she is headmistress, so she might be rich. I guess. Uh, we're here about Joseph Watts. And there was I thinking I was going to be on the radio. Joseph is a pupil here, though, right? Was. He certainly is. Head boy and heartbreaker. Heartbreaker? Like, the, every scene is just lit with one fucking spotlight he over here. He's helping people. <laughs> Any idea where he could have gone? Oh, probably at some young lady's house whose parents are away. Sector in quirky small town England. Hold on a second. We had a caller on radio Wait. Who said they'd kidnapped. Wait. Wait. Kidnapped? Hold on. Oh, sounds a bit far-fetched. We're looking for him. So there, is that better? Can tell us is this more the mood? You'd be better off talking to his form tutor, Miss Clay, but... Oh, I have to click a thing. Wait. Shit. Hold on. Whistle. Whistle. Nice whistle. Thank you. Do you have a specific question? What do you use it for? Blowing. <laughs> so it I'm... makes a noise. I know, but for running or sports. Do you know how hard it is to keep teens with raging hormones in line? Not right. yet. Well, less hard with a whistle. It's like Pavlov's dog. Blow it, and they know something bad is coming. Do you know any pupils called Yvette? <sighs> Not recently. I can't keep holding the phone up. Why are you looking for someone called Yvette? It's the name of the kidnap. And by recent, you mean? Well, I was at school with an Yvette, but that was many moons ago. Not in August. Different country, actually. Well, we should be off now. Here's my number, if Joe turns up, or if you think of any place he might be. Thank you, Mrs. Umber. It's Miss Umber. Uh-huh. Miss Umber. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God, please don't tell me the headmistress did a creepy thing. The town it used to be. They're, like, still in the room. <laughs> they walked, like, six steps. What's our next move, Munro? Who did she say Joe's teacher was again? Miss Clay. If we can find her address, we should visit her. I think she's staying at the guest house. Why do you think that? I saw a bill on Miss Amber's desk. The Let's go there. About what Frankie said. I feel like that not town you see is you've right missing for the like, <laughs> people come no over here. I mean, Let's in a small town in like England, you're not wrong. Um, I like making the decisions. I think it's more in relation to the fact that this is like the third I game in this universe, play. and so weird shit just happens here. I'm gonna uh -huh. talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. Why don't I talk to Miss Gallagher? And you? Which was which? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. How do we know Miss Clay isn't a redhead? We are irresistible. <clears throat> Here's the thing with all these choices, I don't know who's getting what. Hello? Every pick is just a coin Alice. flip. Alice Monroe? From the radio. Yeah, from the radio. And what brings you here, Miss Monroe? One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. Oh. Ah, so this is the okay. fan service. Also, uh, has, I don't know who here has seen Star Trek DS9, but she has real Kira look to her. A bed. I'm just gonna let this one ride. 
your dress. It matches my patience, long and unyielding. If you go around the other side, I find that tends to work best. I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Yes, the school teacher. One for <laughs> that awkward bisexual say. energy is a vibe. Well, it was extremely there. Hostage. <clears throat> we had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy, Joe Watts, hostage. Watts? Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. I love fireworks. Ghastly things. All that methyl in our drinking water makes my thyroid throb just thinking about it. Once again, They're this game has got a lot of weird, business, offbeat, horny energy. I will Google that when I get home. Do. So your guest, Miss Clay. School pays for her. She's very quiet. Doesn't watch television, which is odd. Goes out a lot at night. Stop glancing Anything at her boobs. Anywhere? No. She usually seems happy when she gets back, though. And she smells... earthy. Earthy? As in muddy? Not on my carpets. And only if she's laundering her sheets before I get to them. Earthy, though. Yes. Like the smell of fresh rain on grass. That's not really earthy. Great sense of smell. Well, when you run a guest house, you develop all sorts of senses you didn't know you had. <laughs> Smells earthy after long nights out. Sounds weird, but it could be relevant. The music is not helping Joe's the being somewhere dirty or uh, the... muddy. Not low key, the mid key high. to high key horny energy of this whole thing. Beaten. <clears throat> Frightened. That's specific? <laughs> Too many uh, movies. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah, I actually recognize wow. her. She's it been in other stuff too. Sure. I think she's in and a bunch of FMB stuff. Again, especially if you need a room. <laughs> think of anything that might help? Please give me a call at the radio station. Surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? No. I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the police know what's going on? They do. I just think that we have a better chance of finding Joe than they have. Poison Ivy in a fan film? Very oh, well. yeah. I think I I've actually seen cold. that. Thank you. I know we're gonna find him. I do actually think I've seen that. And yeah, she definitely well, has the look I for it. I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litter bug. So she's an eco warrior. Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. How was Miss Gallagher? Kinda of dominant. I liked her. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Hey, Poe, buddy, you are absolutely later. the reacher in this in this this relationship. So Joe? she said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? She said that Miss Clay goes out a lot at night and comes back smelling of earth. That's odd. Yeah, she has a great sense of smell. I'm sure it's a clue of Sherlockian proportions. We'll probably never decipher. Okay. Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it up, Alice. I'm trying. The headmistress, then? Miss Gallagher? I mean, as much fun Denied. as as Let's see Dallas the the high key bisexual energy. Want to play good cop, bad cop? Do we have to? Okay, you be good cop. And I'll be bad cop. You're going to rough her up? No, just if you think she's not telling us everything, leave it to me and I'll get the goods. I'm not going to lie. I would. She's coming. 
back so soon? Yeah, go for it. You're lying, Dallas. <laughs> okay, you starting a little ahead. stronger than I expected. Kids. Kids. <clears throat> it's not a secret, is it? We've had two other children disappear. Joe's the third. Do the police know? They know. The first girl was fostered, so although she went missing, it was... She's been abducted. Mm. Okay, so yeah, that's commentary. Somewhere, anywhere. But not here. So, they're not even looking for her. No, I expect they are. But I'm just a head teacher. Of a school that loses children. She's got a Scully vibe. He's not even I discount Mulder. He's, children. yeah, he's... Poe is... Missing on my watch. It's when they're out there in the big, ugly underbelly of August. <laughs> this town I'm has sorry, like 200 Sam, people. We didn't mean to accuse you. That's quite all right, Mr. Pope. I know you're just trying to find Joe. Here, go and visit Wesmery. She's currently off school for a spot of R and R. Her head's a bit mushy, but she purports to know where the missing children are. Thank you, Miss Amber. Miss Munro? Sorry, Miss Amber. Thank you. Noted. Let's go see Wes Marie then. Let's not rush this. I think it could be worth seeing Miss Clay. Yeah, let's go and see Miss Clay okay. first. Okay, home James. Comes is amazing in how he exudes Anything bizarre theatrical and comfortable you energy. You can talk to the land. Everyone exudes land. bizarre theatrical and comfortable energy in this. Uh, no, let's talk to Clay because we haven't talked to her yet. As much as fun as it would be to talk to the madam of the house. Mr. Pope, have you found Joe? I'm afraid not, but I do have a new lead. Does the name Wes Marie Bolton mean anything to you? Wes Marie. Also, yes. I do want to say that Poe is exuding a lot of the same energy that, um, oh, what the hell is his name? The guy from Contradiction and that weird moon one that I played and a bunch of other FMV games. Uh, the bald guy. They're basically doing the same thing. <laughs> Anyways. Do you know her? She was a pupil at the school. Was? She's on extended leave. Mental health issues, I believe. I take it you've not been to see her yet? No, I thought I'd come and talk to you first. Well, there's not much I can tell you about her, I'm afraid. Yes, and the shape-shifting detective. Yes, I knew he was in that. West Marie and Joe that you know of? No, sorry. I'm actually um, headed out soon. Perhaps Does this mean anything to you? Tomorrow. Yes, of course. Um, going anywhere mm. nice? Just for a walk. Was Wes Marie one of your pupils? No, no, I never spoke to her. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Just one more thing. Wes Marie's family stayed at the guest house once. Talked about the missing. The missing? She didn't know any more than that. Miss Clay said she'd never spoken to her. A dead end. We've wasted time, Poe. We should have gone to Wes Marie first. I bet. Hindsight's always 2020, Munro. Man, I should replay Contradiction. Now, Let's go. Uh, agreed. Wes Marie, here we come. That was such a buck wild game. It's like the first MV FMV that I played as an adult, too. <laughs> They do have some pretty powerful Mulder Scully kind of energy in terms of how they're dressed and everything too. You want to hear about Joe? a scruffy idiot. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Poe. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. Sure. It's okay. You can trust us. It's on the radio. Ah, yes, the radio. She ran this after school club, Greenfly. I was in it. 
She may just make a list of those with the most environmental impact on the squad. <laughs> Something better lapels. It's, it's just the big it's big jacket. Good dress. Red hair. Just a couple of things. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. You have to help him. You need to. It's okay. We're going to help. You just need to take a breath. How is it nobody looked at this and said there's... Oh, there it goes. She had a thing on her on her face. At Howe Park? You have to hurry. She'll kill him if they do pay. A ransom? His parents. He is being ransomed. If they pay, she'll donate the money to charity. It's sick. It's gone too far. And what if they don't pay? He'll be returned to the earth. I don't know. I have no sorry. What did you see, Westmary? His clay. Is a werewolf? She was turning him into trees. Oh, okay. So a we've... dryad. Okay. A what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. That's we need to go. Not Park. Okay. Yeah. Was Marie? Sure. Fine. Marie. That is not what a dryad is, but okay. We're gonna save Joe. <clears throat> you wait here and we'll be back. <laughs> that is actually like of the things in this that have been spotted in this game, that's the one that gets me, <laughs> apparently. Joe! Joe! <laughs> I'm letting it ride, okay? But let it be known that, that ain't what a dryad is. Joe! Maybe in August that's what what goes for a dryad. <clears throat> please tell me we're gonna see a half tree boy. Please, oh please, oh please. Oh dear. We're too late, Alice. No. 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 This is all our fault. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, can you actually save... Kyoder, since you played this, can you actually save him if you don't mess around? Like, is there is there a route to actually do it? He wasn't eaten. He, he was murdered. What, what are we I talking about? Eaten? Clay had something to do with it. The vet. Yeah? She's oh, interesting. Okay. Finding. Do you have her voice recorded? Yes. We record all incoming calls. Do the police have it? I already sent it over. I'm sure they're working on it. I guess I'd better go and identify Joe's body. What, what, whatever's left Justin of Justin lied. Yeah, I don't think Frankie's got our oh, best interests at heart here. much eat anything. One time... There was a whole school bus of children and... Poe, I think you can save that story for another time. Of course. Sorry. We're sorry <clears throat> for your loss. We'll see ourselves out. Once again, lit by a single spotlight. It's that spotlight right there. Frankie gave us a warning. Did he know? I'm having a hard time with this whole Frankie thing. Where do you think Miss Clay is? No one can find her. Far away from August, I should imagine. I feel responsible. Don't. It's not like you made all the decisions that led to Joe's death. If they ever invent a time machine, I'm coming back and I'm saving Joe. Good luck with that. Maybe he was always too. That's gloomy. Fate and destiny, Monroe. It can't always be changed. We never found out who Yvette was either. Some things will always remain a mystery. This is the game absolutely spitting in my face. Oh, cute. Okay, so... Next time... Was that basically so if we replay it, we now know who the killer was, so we could try and figure it out? Claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Monroe, 
Are you ready to meet your past self? I was born ready. That's kind of neat. I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Also, these have some Dark really nurse. weird Doctor Who next time energy. Okay, I went with majority. Across the board. Dr. Decker crossover? Well, I haven't seen Dr. Decker, so it's all new to me. Way to be basic? Eh, it's Neb and Flo. The previous episode went against basically every choice. Madame Baraski, okay. It's quite the character name. <clears throat> can I get through this whole game in an evening? I feel like maybe I can. Dark Knights. With Pearl and Monroe. Maybe we should have a safe word. If you're worried. I'm worried I won't like it. Then we should definitely have it. Jesus Christ. What are you thinking? Just starting off starting off strong, huh? It's Madame. I'm sorry, Madame Bratsky. <laughs> you must feel relaxed. So if a safe word would help, then yes. An easy three hours? What should it be? Uh obviously Leprechaun? Clown. Oh, that what? Thanks, Raspy. Raspy? Okay. That's what Paul calls him. It's how he talks. God, that got so much Thanks, weirder. Everyone. <clears throat> and we're live in three, two, welcome back. As promised listeners, Wait, hold on. a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky is a past life regression therapist. Which is all hokum, just for the record. Discover their previous selves from ancient Egyptian Weird energy is a... This game is horny. <laughs> that had to have been part of the direction. Everyone has to be... 50 to 65% horny at all times. Monroe has bravely volunteered to be put to sleep by Madame Baratsky this evening. You make it sound like euthanasia. She's going to wake you up again. Aren't you? Of course. Remind me again why you couldn't do it, Poe? Like, I don't know. Don't what would the art direction be? Like, and okay, so. so will put into everything's box. extra. I prefer You're also horny. But also, there will be no release there. And so that just ride that, seats. like, Later on, grade nine at a dance course. energy. Have you lived before? Do you remember also, we only have one spotlight. Or is it all just a money-making racket? <clears throat> Let us know, Monroe. Yes, Poe? Are you ready to meet your past <laughs> self? Why is he speaking directly into the iPad? Let's hope you work. Yeah, I, I, don't, born, I don't know. Madame Baratsky, take it away. No, no, edging is definitely the right word for it. I, I, Please relax. Close I just eyes. didn't think of the word. And focus. On the sound of my voice. <clears throat> Listen to nothing else. Uh. But my voice. <sighs> Madame Baratsky has started the regression process. <clears throat> That's not a cough. That's a throat clear. Cough. Focus on your arms. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chair and pull you into the deep, deep dark. Let the darkness consume you. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I had an itchy nose suddenly. It won't work if you fidget. 
I'm sorry, I'll be still. Let's start again. <laughs> Wait, Another how many times? Hold on. How many times can I do that? <laughs> can I just keep doing it? Focus on your arms. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chair. And pull you into the deep, deep dark. Let the darkness consume you. Oh man, it's just replacing the whole fucking scene. Oh, you can do it again? Now, ah, fine. I am curious if you just keep doing it, what happens, but... Good. She is fully relaxed and suggestible. Phrasing. Now you have crossed into a life you have lived before. Do you remember who you are? Yes. Monroe says she can remember a previous life. Shh. Bring the fucking iPad over, dude. Also, why are you doing a radio broadcast through the microphone? It's not good. Do not rush. Let the world come to you. Let it reveal itself to you. Phrasing is not an issue. Is it just presumed? Let the world envelop you. Step into the world and become your former self. <laughs> Not Edgar is a very good cup. Uh, now nah, we'll do the water. As much fun as a Keurig would be. For the obvious reason. Now tell me what you see. <laughs> the game is horny on main. No need to worry about phrasing. Fair. That is fair. The game is horny on main and alt. Monty mug. It's a good mug. That's a very funny joke for way above what this game has done. So is this from a previous game? Like, is that what this means? Like, is is this a previous life? from a previous game, or is this just a different thing? Oh, what the fuck? I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? What just happened? What? What? What is this interface? No, that's not what I was going to ask. Oh, you. my mistake. Where's Dr. Decker? He's gone sailing. So this is from the game? This is the Dr. Decker game? I've been coming here for months, and I don't really know anything about him. What did he tell you about me? Murder. I'm not violent. I don't know why you'd think that. Let's play a game, Doctor. I'd like to play a game. You're very accommodating for a therapist. You think of something, then I'll get it. Uh. This immediately feels like Dr. Decker, probably because I think that's what's supposed to be happening, right? Like, is this how the original game works? A triangle. A love triangle, perhaps. Don't... Again, having never played it, I don't know. I mean, you haven't said anything since you've arrived. Do you believe me now? Oh, it has a typing interface. Interesting. your mind. No. Don't say anything then. I'll keep doing my thing. Something happens at work. The dry cleaners in town. I can't switch it off. As soon as I lock eyes with a person, I get their thoughts. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Ooh, that's... <sighs> oh, 
Oh boy. Well. It's like tuning a radio. If I look at someone, I hear their thoughts. Again, that's unfortunate, madam. Speaking about horny on Maine. There's this guy who walks in with a suit. It's got a stain on the trousers near the zipper. And all he's thinking when he drops them off is, Sharon can't pick these up, Sharon can't pick these up. So he starts screaming at me that he needs the hour service or he'll have me fired. So I call the manager. My manager is also called Sharon. So it gets a bit confusing. Dr. Decker is much darker. Anyway. Interesting. Sharon! Sharon! This guy's face is a picture, <clears throat> but he's holding it together. Sharon comes over preoccupied. She's thinking about the washing machines. She is the manager, so she normally does that, but this time was different. It's a Sharon, not she Karen. Come on now. Alicia. Spinning away at one of them. Uh, sorry, what? The dry cleaning machines are big. You can fit someone in quite easily. You could probably fit a small person into a normal washing machine, actually, if they really tried. Anyway, the store manager here is shouting and comes over. The customer, let's call him Ed, says that we shouldn't be advertising something we can't deliver. Says he's a lawyer and he'll sue us. The store manager, whose name I intentionally forget, says he'll sort it out. Sharon, in the meantime, has gone ashen. Uh. I lock onto Sharon's eyes, and I see it again. Nisha. What the hell's a Nisha? The At this point, I'm guessing Sharon has a fantasy about killing her. Ed finally gives in, throws his suit at me, and leaves. The manager looks at me and says, Can you work your magic hands over his trousers? He's thinking of me topless, in a hot tub, but with way bigger breasts. And Thank you, camera cut. Some other things I'd rather not remember. Again, that must happen a lot. Knowing people's thoughts eats your soul. Yeah, I bet. Ed's trousers have the stain. Keep up, Doctor. Anyway, I take it round back to start working on it. And that's when I see her. Nisha in the washing machine? Nisha. Like a rag doll in a hurricane. Just spinning inside this big machine. Her face smashing against glass and metal. Blood pouring out of every opening. She's a mess. That's a hell of a time to smash cut. Can you see any jewelry? A ring, maybe? Yes. A ring. Good. I need you to get it for me. Do you understand? I understand. Well, this is fascinating, August. We'll be back with more of Monroe's past life in just a moment. What's going on? I'm helping Ellis uncover her past. Why does she need to get this ring? Oh, it's just a technique I use. I think you should bring her back now. It would be dangerous at this point. Then do it at whatever point it won't be. Quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. Fire up the Keurig. I'm trying to figure out what past life she was operating in there. Who was she in this? Was she doctor? Like, is she her? The 
they closed down the store for a while so the real cleaners could come in. They got rid of all the blood. It wasn't just blood. Well, no. You get some bone Her fragments. Yeah, some brain matter. Grating against the metal drum. Some of her teeth. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, Doctor. So, was Nisha her kid? Or, like, know? I don't... Back. For chloroethylene. It's what they use in dry cleaning machines. Ah. You have big theories about the, how all of this but works? Are you talking about, like, the whole universe? Or this particular scene? Broke her spinal cord. So she was paralyzed for a few minutes while her face mashed into everything. Shock probably got her first. I would have thought the drowning myself, but... Sharon's fingerprints were the only ones on the machine. <clears throat> Actually, hers and Nisha's. The police thought she'd struggled against the machine trying to fight Sharon. Nobody heard anything, though. It's dry cleaning. Oh, no, she, oh, she said washer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Different got. things for different folks, you know, Vogue no Freak. way of shutting yourself in. You really have to get a friend to help. Or manager. Was Nisha a co-worker? Sharon's in a psychiatric hospital now. They arrested Sharon for Nisha's murder. Sentenced to 18 years. One for each of Nisha's. Is that enough? Maybe murder should be punishable by death. What is this, America? You think people can change? I'd rather Maybe. let them suffer. Maybe I can change. Sharon's fingerprints were all over the machines. I don't and know what I'm doing right now. This is very weird. Her husband was having sex with Nisha. Ah. That's all the jury needed. Nobody saw her do it, though. She just didn't have a good enough lawyer. People with money get away with murder all the time, though. Don't they? Yeah. Is there anything <laughs> rich people can't buy? I watched the trial from the gallery. Not many people made eye contact with me, but Sharon did. She wanted Feels really to recent for a past life, right? Really die. I don't think she killed Nisha. Sharon's defense. She said Jared killed Nisha. The umbrella man. Sorry, the what? Jared's the Umbrella Man. The what? It's a nickname. We were on a work do and it started raining and then Jared pulls out this tiny umbrella out of nowhere and then gets handsy with any girl stupid enough to duck under it. Hence, Umbrella Man. Ah. I did see Sharon once after the trial. She didn't talk. But in her head, all I could see <clears throat> was Nisha going round and round. Her mind was literally stuck like a broken record. Nisha worked for Sharon as a housemaid. That's how she met the husband. It's so cliche. Mm -hmm. Nisha was desperate for money, and he was desperate for attention. I never told anyone this, but... Nisha charged Sharon's husband for sex. Oh, that's just I capitalism. Mean, she said she would have done it anyway, but... Since there was a chance of getting paid. Hey, you gotta get paid. You know, you gotta make your money. 
Would you pay someone to have sex with you, Doctor? Would I pay someone to have sex with me? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not offering. I just like throwing out the occasional risque question and then reading people's minds. You get the truth that way. Uh-huh. You have a theory that the Decker room is some kind of collective unconscious for the people of August <laughs> in the August-based games. Neat! Nisha was good at cleaning. Yeah, this whole out. this whole universe is extremely Can Twin I Peaks. The back of the machines to hoover the lint trays out, and Nisha was there with Jared, hoovering away already. Nice, nice. Nisha kissed me once, so. I slapped her. All right. We were in the machine. Room. It's amazingly Twin Peaks. It is a love letter to she Twin Peaks. She got something in her Somehow she it is more extra left. than Twin Peaks, though. So I did. Her irises were lovely and big, dilated. And while I was looking, she just kissed me. But her mind. It was beautiful. Okay. Shimmery. And then when she kissed me, it, it all fell away. Oh, wow. She all hit your reset button. Shame. Fear. Oh. Well, that's just Repulsion. sad. Oh. So I slapped her. Well, that's sad. <laughs> What did Nisha think about? <sighs> Nisha thought about Jared. A lot. She hated him, but she also wanted to sleep with him at the same time. It's pretty common. I'm sure there's an interesting scientific term for it. Yeah, it's called a hate fuck. Yeah. <laughs> angry sex. All anger sex. I'd probably take either right now. Uh. Nisha was asking for it, wasn't she? I mean, no. If your partner's cheating on you, you murder their fling. N no. Right? No. 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 Exactly. She'd have killed her husband for sure. Wait. I, start with I said no. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I think Jared killed Nisha. I told you about the Umbrella Man. She hated him. But in a lady doth protest too much kind of way. Maybe he killed her. This is such a weird game. I saw Nisha's body in the machine. Her eyes were still open. Crying blood. <laughs> nice. But I looked into them. And so metal. There was peace. Nothing else. Just peace. God, somebody loved fucking their camera shots. Okay, did we do all the... Oh, coffee time. I'm allergic to nuts. This is definitely normal milk. Uh... The milk's a bit funny. Maybe it's on the turn. What? If you were unsure, why? Mm. Clown. Monroe, you're back. <laughs> She's stuck between two selves. Can't you get her to wake up? Do you want a fried egg for a mistress? She's not my mistress. She'll never be your wife. Monroe. Okay. All right. 
you can go in after her. <laughs> Freezing. Down, please. Freezing. Hold on. How can I go in after her? I'd have to get in her brain. I'm very good at what I do. If you're very good at what you do, you should be able to get her Sleep. out. <laughs> All right. All right. That's a good one. Uh, it's funny, but it wasn't get woke funny. She a vampire or something? Psychic vampire? Okay, so I did all these, right? Yeah. Did that. Did that. Oop. Intense stare. The umbrella man. He's weird. Like a spider. Sharon ducked under his umbrella that time, and his hand slithered around her body and kind of rested under her breast. Everyone knew he was touching it, and Sharon just... Why under... That's a weird spot. And away. I tried to read his mind, but... It was like a stereogram. Sorry, the Magnus archives? Uh, what the hell are the Magnus archives? His facial expression didn't change. Nothing. <clears throat> it was like he was wrapping his arms around his prey. He didn't seem to be particularly enjoying touching her breast, just <laughs> for science. It's a horror podcast. Oh, okay. Very spooky. I should look that up. Jared's mind was a mess of colored Horror podcast how? Sense. Like, is it an ongoing I kind of story or Ever. is it just spooky stories or what's up? There's only one other person I know that's like that. Is it the dagger? Yep. Dr. Decker. His mind's also mush. I actually came here today to tell him that I don't want any more sessions. He creeps me out. Narrative fiction. Oh, okay. Jared quit after the murder. Well, so did I, to be fair. Well, I think everyone would have to. The... <laughs> I've kind of quit everything now. That's fair. You see, Ed? I'm not suicidal. Just need to live on a different planet or something. <laughs> Just tired. Just fucking tired of people. I already said that Jared killed Nisha. Or something did. Hey, up. Do you... Would you mean something? Believe in the supernatural? Sure. Jared killed Nisha. I don't think I'm safe here. <laughs> I saw it happen. But I couldn't tell the police. Okay. They were in the back room. Nice. Jared and Nisha. Mm-hmm. The back rooms are a scary place. And then shouldn't kiss in the back room. She opened the door to the machine. She just got in, and Jared, he shut it. He didn't have fingers. He had. I can't. Oh come on! Don't I'm finding this I'm way sorry, more engaging sure. than the other game. <laughs> I'm being ripped. Uh -oh. Sorry, I don't want him to hear. Sorry. Are you going to go touch under her breast now? In an hour, you'll wake as if from some deep sleep. And I'll be gone. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, okay. That should cover it. See myself out. <laughs> oh, the accent swap there was very good. Just into gruff Australian. Dr. Decker. On that note, here's a message from our sponsor that you're sure to enjoy. Ooh, turtleneck. The police are looking for Miss Baratsky. It's a shame she didn't stick around. Was she even licensed? How does one even get licensed in that? From who? Herself, when she knocked on the door yesterday morning. You let a complete stranger take over my body? I didn't know what she was going to do. I feel so violated. That's fair. I can't even tell our listeners. We were robbed. She literally took my wallet and your purse. I know. That was everything I had. And that wasn't all she took. What else is gone? My adoption papers. What? What? My adoption papers are missing. I didn't know you were adopted. Well, I am. I'm not ashamed to say it. Sorry, Pro. I, I wasn't suggesting that. It's unsettling when someone takes something so personal. Pro will never trust a random person Just claiming to be a psychic ever again. A past lives travel agent. I don't. I don't think that that's but true. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> you were there. You and me. Yes, just like Wizard of Oz. Maybe the reason the people looked familiar is because you made it all up yourself. So, are we dreaming now or is this real? Uh-oh. Can't tell anymore. Uh-oh. Want me to give you a squeeze? No, this is real. How can you be so sure? Ooh, again with weird energy. Much more of a charmer. And richer, I'd imagine. Too soon, Po. Too soon. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. You're live on air, line one. There was an animal in the road. Oh, okay, so this line right here was the one I applied for and didn't get. Sorry. I just, as soon as I read it, I knew. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. We're going werewolf hunting. I'm Casper Light. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. God, this is got big Doctor Who energy. You have no idea what's at stake. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. I should play super liminal. Alright, let's see. Pick the clown. <laughs> I like how I took the water. That was actually the unpopular choice. Okay. Who are the 33% who think people, rich people can't avoid justice? Or... <laughs> it's Doctor Who. It's just, There's a severe Doctor Who energy to it. I don't like collateral this one because... The question was, you wouldn't murder a person, right? And I was like, no, I wouldn't murder a person. And she followed up with, yeah, obviously you'd kill the other person first. Like, no, no, hold on. Hold on now. That's not, that's not what I said. How many episodes? Hold on. Two more episodes? Okay. How much time we got? 11.26, okay. Yeah, she asked if I would murder the fling, in which I said no. Now, you would think that that would just be like, okay, you wouldn't do a murder. But no, she interpreted it as, right, you'd kill the other person first. It's like, hold on. <laughs> oh. This one can be very short. That's worrying.
Bless me, Father Poe, for <coughs> I have sinned. Again, Monroe? It's only been a week. I know. I just can't stop myself. Okay, so again with the high key energy. <laughs> I've been taking too many selfies. Well, they say pride comes. And that's why he's wearing the collar. The I collar is for come. all this whole scene. This isn't much of a confession, Monroe. Haven't you got something more scandalous? You haven't seen the selfies. Sounds like Monroe <laughs> beyond say. Dang. That. But what have you been up to? All She's sending them to the guest house it's time owner. to come clean in. Confession booth. Now remember, callers, no last names, no strings attached, and no consequences. Just call in to confess and let us Is it a confession or a sign up for an orgy? It's cheaper than therapy. And almost as effective. This isn't blasphemous, is it, Monroe? God, I hope not. Excellent. Oh, we have a caller on line Is it one. Frankie? Line one, you're through to the confession booth. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You're live on air, Line One. What's your name? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Beck. Welcome, Beck. <laughs> Spill forth the burning <laughs> secrets of your tormented soul. Again, the same energy of that dude from what all those games that I love. I um crashed my boss's car. Oh no, that's terrible. Were you hurt? No, Why is Monroe uh, doing? phone sex operator voice right now wow like it's very specifically phone sex operator well how did it happen were you swerving to avoid something yeah there was an animal in the road it was uh really hairy must have been uh a bear or something else because it was huge a hairy bear as acting as a human mm. honestly maybe bigger yeah this is the line that i did What happened to the animal? I ran off. I don't think it was hurt, but I did hear howling. Howling? Yeah, like a like a wolf. Like um, ow! Well, that was terrible, obviously, but like a wolf. I think I would have that, done better if they'd give me the whole scene. Serious, doesn't it, Poe? It does indeed. Thank you for your confession, Beck. Yes, thank you, Beck. It sounds like you're still traumatized by your experience, but I'm glad you weren't physically hurt. Father Poe says, you are forgiven. <laughs> and <we'll be> <laughs> what was that weird flat note? Why? 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 God, every decision well, in this is that was kind of strange, so deliberate. Poe? Yes, although I get the feeling he was angling for something. Really? Seem genuine to me. God, so much horny energy. This might be the horniest game I've played on stream. You don't think... No, I'm being silly. You're not being silly, Alice. I suspect he was trying to make us think the same thing. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. It's just some. <laughs> and yet it isn't lewd? No, it it's not. And yet it is so horny. Honestly, it's tonight. kind of impressive. Maybe we should leave early and check it out. Don't you have other plans? It's your birthday tomorrow. I wasn't planning on having an early night. Let me call Gwendolyn. Jesus! Also, back, listeners. I mean, this come on. I, I hate that they're actually having an affair. It just, and we're in the it just reminds booth. me of Pose a slimy piece of shit. The confession booth. Line two, you're through. The confession Father booth. Poe. Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. What is your name, child? Casper. And what dark anguish burns your mortal <laughs> soul, Casper? He means, would <laughs> you like to confess? <sighs> Are there is, are, is it just implied? I don't know. I I, I I I don't think it's just implied. Well, you'll have to wait um a little while, Casper, until after the show. Well, I could wait until then, but that might not give you enough time. Hey, oh. time for what? To 
save yourself. Hey, up. Well, you're in luck, Casper, as I have a story queued up. Listeners will be back in a Forgive few me, Father, for I have sinned or punish me, Daddy. Time. I've been naughty. Okay, so okay, what, Casper, suburb rat? It's just us now. What are we saving ourselves from this time? Don't go to Wolf Lane. It, what? Uh, We're not going to Wolf Lane. We had no intention we of going to Wolf Lane. The werewolf, remember? Yes, you are. But you shouldn't. Whoop. And why is that, Casper? Because it will be the last time anyone sees you. Why? I can't give details. But something bad will happen if you go to Wolf Lane tonight. <clears throat> you know, if you want us to take you seriously, perhaps elaborate on the something bad will happen bit. There's a billion other places you could go. And I'm just asking you to avoid one. But if you have a death wish, go to Wolf Lane. Hold on, I need to think about this. Is this how it can be very short if we just don't go to Wolf Lane? <laughs> like, is that we just avoid the whole adventure? Just be like, mm, no, let's not. Let's go to a Nando's instead. Sorry, that wasn't nearly enough energy. No, I think perhaps we should go to a Nando's instead. Is that a death threat, Casper? No. This is your future. Trust me. I know. And because you have a time machine? Because I was there when it happened. Oh, cool. Well, we're certainly putting the dark and dark nights tonight, August. Maybe we should stop taking calls. Nonsense, Munro. What would this show be without... The heady mix of terror and titillation provided. <laughs> Cheeky by. Nando's, yeah. Well, why don't you just go down to the local weather spoons and? Which is good, because I don't know. Betty by. Talk about how the immigrants are taking all the jobs. Sweet dreams, August. Thank you for listening. Yes, and remember, don't have nightmares. nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. <laughs> just fade out in the in the so outro think. audio. I I don't know what either of these buttons do. I think it's only a matter of time before Casper tries to kill us. He's just an attention seeker. So am I. I'm not trying to kill anyone though. So, what do you want to do about it? I don't know. He didn't really threaten us, so probably doesn't warrant getting the police involved. Are you sure? Accident slipped there. No. I just wish... I wish we could have one simple, uneventful, boring night. I don't think you'd like boring, Miss Monroe. You're right. Which is why we're going werewolf hunting. Casper didn't put you off? No. Oh, okay. Only not to do something makes you want to do it twice as hard. Really? Well, definitely don't do the whistle swinger again. You like the whistle swinger, don't you? No. Excuse me real quick. Hold on. Ah, okay. Wait, what? Why is this? Hold on. Huh. Okay, so there's an entry in Urban Dictionary that I think is based off of this game. Yeah, these are all... Uh, oh, sorry, Kyoto. I looked up The Whistle Swinger. Um, and a lot of them are when you cheat on your wife with your radio co-host. Uh, in the booth, specifically. Uh, but there's also... The top descriptor, which got the most upvotes, I think, because people are horny on Maine, uh, which is a sexual act in which the female participant, wearing nothing but a whistle around her neck, gyrates her body such that the whistle swings in a circular motion during sexual intercourse. And then, for the use in a sentence, the radio host from the town of August performed the whistle swinger using the whistle found on headmistress Umber's desk. Carrying on. Even if it's twice as hard? 
We're not going to make it out of here if you keep talking like that. <laughs> Boba. <laughs> you really think we can see werewolves? It would be foolish to rule it out altogether. I know it's almost your birthday, but, well, a full moon waits. Surely for this dude's hut wife is not so stupid. Exactly. I guess it could be romantic. You and me huddled in the car, looking at the stars. They say like, oh, surely she's listened to the radio station, the uh, radio Today, broadcast a couple times, been like, "Hey, what the fuck is this that energy?" Must be why the werewolves like it. Happy birthday, my love. It's not my birthday yet. You're such a tease, Monroe. She's not an idiot, or she's not listening to the show. Oh, okay. You don't need to do that. It's hey, can I just point out that it's fucking daytime during this know. shot? This <laughs> but it's supposed to be nighttime. Who are you? I'm Casper Light. I'm from the show. You just called into our radio show. Oh no. I must have come back again. Are you okay? No. This means I've already failed. What is it you want exactly? I work for a company called Coit Industries. Coit. They do experimental stuff. Experimental that... stuff at Coit. No, I'm Eminem. The rapper. Mishaps and malfunctions. Marks and stuff. Marks and testers. I'm here to save you. Save us from what? Disassembly. Uh, what? You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. You told us not to when you called, so we're going straight home. Isn't that right, Monroe? Yeah. I'm so tired. <sighs> See? There's no need for It's anything. twilight outside? Dude, it's like three in the afternoon. <laughs> that light ain't twilight. I'm sorry. You have no idea. What's at stake? Don't try it. It always ends badly. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to pick Rock and hope that he punches him in the face. You go. Can you win that? <laughs> Where are we? Are you okay? Hey, Kyoto, can you actually win that? The studio. Why? I don't know. He's locked us in. I've tried the door already. I guess if I replay it and I pick scissors, because now we know he picks paper. I'm assuming Casper will let us out <clears throat> when he's done with us. Happy birthday to me. You said you wanted to try something different this year. It's random? Oh, gross. Really? I'm sorry I had to do that. It's to keep you safe. I work for a company called Coit, Coit Industries. Yeah, we, we went over this. We specialize in speculative technology. I say we. The science team do the heavy lifting. I'm just M&M. Mishaps and malfunctions. It, it's my job. What's happening right now? Results. We did all this. Normally, I don't intervene. Just let it happen. Then clear up. But people will still be listening to you years from now. Because I've saved you. So, the whole werewolves thing. I don't want to wake up alone. I don't get it. Let's face it. Birthday or not, 
You'd have gone home to your wife after the show. I know. This is him in a new loop. Sure. And we'd have had some fun, but eventually you'd leave. Like you always do. Monroe. I just wanted someone to wake up with. To wish me happy birthday and give me a hug. But what's that got to do with Wolf Lane? Nothing. It doesn't matter now. So Poe is just an idiot, huh? Machine, you'll find out. Okay, it's like this. Around midnight, you're on Wolf Lane. At the same time, an organization I can't name is testing Coit. an experimental weapon. The test glitches, you get fried, and Eminem are called in for disposal. The time you want me wibbly wobbly, like yes. The Doctor Who quote, yeah. Tomorrow, the news spreads that you've vanished. You're never found. Oh, it's just an idiot. He's an idiot and slimy. I don't like it. The key is subtlety. You don't use it to kill Hitler. You use it to manipulate election results, justify wars. Uh. Or in my case, rescue two local radio hosts. Hold on. And listen to their show. Hang on. You're welcome, by the way. Let us out! Let us out! No point yelling, Munro. It's soundproof, in and out. Fine. Let's use our mind power to open the door. So that is how the world ends. You didn't hear it from me. I wish you'd say something. I'm just going to go. I'll leave it another minute just to be safe, though. Good luck, Poe and Monroe. Did I just open that with my mind? Try locking it again. Or we could just leave. Yes. Best not to mess with telekinesis. Ladies first. Thanks, Poe. Let's hope Casper isn't out there. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, I forgot. There's still time to go to Wolf Lane, if you'd like. You're driving. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, so we're not done. You're live on air, line one. What should we call you? Oh, yeah, it's me. Whoa, hey! Hang up! Help! He's got a gun! What? Hang up! Back? Don't! I can't let you tell them where to go. Wait, what? Don't! Don't! Back? Back? Huh. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. That is actually a really Back fun to end. August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Good That's year. a really good Monroe ending. Only has one more capsule to plant. Don't worry, you'll not be hungry for much longer. Oh, it's fun that that painting came up again. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. She doesn't want you to get out. She wants to eat souls. <laughs> Dark nights. With Poe and Monroe. So the rock, paper, scissors thing is just completely random? Losing wasn't really a choice. Completely random. Ah, that sucks. Because there's no way to just jump straight to that to in order to get it. I bet there's a goddamn achievement wrapped around that too. I have this through GOG, not through Steam, so it doesn't matter anyways. But I absolutely, I can one hundred. Yeah, there is an achievement for that. Yeah, that's a bullshit kind of achievement. Achievement that's just. Straight RNG sucks. Those are the worst. Game devs, all your achievements should be skill or... No, they should just be skill-based. They shouldn't be grind-based. 
skill based or story based. Those are your two things. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last episode, so it's 1147. Yeah, let's just let's just go for it. You grounded so many times. Uh yeah, I can believe it. Grind base depends more if the game is built around grinding. Sure. Um like, you know, if you're playing, like, Cookie Clicker as an example, sure, yeah, those are fine. But, uh, other achievements that just require you to farm crap for a long time, just for arbitrary stuff that you don't have to necessarily do as part of the game, those are the ones I'm more thinking about. Like, an example would be, like, playing a game like, I don't know, Gungeon, and there being an achievement for 5,000 runs. Oh, nice. Right, like something stupid like that. Wait, what? Q? I didn't look at the credits this time. Wait, hold on. Is the actor that plays Q in this? John Delaney. Oh my god, is John Delaney in this? Extraordinary. What is your wish? A wish, you say? Let me think. I wish that Alice Munro never stops loving me. Dillance. Ah, oh, yeah. Dillance, yeah. Uh -oh. How does it work? It's magic. Hey, yup. It? Yes, but some kind of sensor. Go on. Ask it something. Look, it's okay. this. I like how um, in a normal in a normal scene, if someone was doing something like this and some weird mustachioed man strolled up beside them was like isn't it amazing? Normally, the main character would be freaked the fuck out that some dude just rolled up right into his personal space. But not in August. Not in this game. In this game, that's the normal energy. What time is it? The X. Huh. I believe it is. Sometimes she's cryptic. How about this then, Rose? What's the square root of 1,296? Four. She's confused. I'll do a reboot. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's wonderful. I'm sure August will love it. Museums aren't what they used to be. I did an AMV for this, no. bashing up Poe and Monroe to an yeah, Evangelion theme. Ever. Yoder, you are going to share that in the Discord right now. Of course. Happy to help. You, you can't Let's tell me that and not for that wish. show me that. <laughs> yes. Monroe will be pleased with my wish. And now I have the Evangelion theme stuck in my head. Huh. They changed her hair color. It's a lighter orange than uh, previous shots. I appreciate also that they did the, this whenever they shot this. Uh, she's wearing the same outfit as she was when she got sent to Dr. Decker. What is this lighting? Outdoor? Question mark? But also extremely overhead? It's so well lit. It's outside. It's out of their control. 
They've definitely turned up the, uh, what is in your hand? Good luck, little feller. I'm sorry, feller? Are you doing geocaches? Treasure buried. Remind me why this is my job again? You have smaller fingers than me, Monroe, and you can get into smaller spaces. Gross. So it's nothing to do with you having the warm, cozy studio then? Absolutely not. Uh, how many capsules to go? I don't know. Uh, one, I think, but I just dropped it. You could just tag its location there. Oh, it's okay. I found it. Oh my god, they actually are doing geocaching. Good work, Monroe. Going live in three, two... <laughs> Welcome back, listeners. Cut, cut, Good cut. News. Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. That's right, Poe. I'm almost done. And then our listeners can start trying to find them. Yes, thanks to the judge. God, she really does have real strong Kira Norris like Tell looks to her. In the capsules, Monroe. Only the best treasure of all, Poe. A free family ticket to August Museum. And that's not all. One lucky capsule has a secret treasure in it, hidden by the curator himself. I wonder what that is, Poe. Sandwich. Perhaps it's edible, like fine caviar. Great. I've been hiding fish eggs. Did one of them feel different to the others, Monroe? No, not really. Well, handle them carefully, in case they open a portal to another world. What? what do with one. Okay, then. Sounds like Monroe is getting a little frosty. Time for these words from our sponsors. Is one of them Sennheiser? Remember, Monroe, if you speak with a smile, people know you're smiling. And? Am I smiling now? Are you being rude, Monroe? Can you hear me being rude? Yes, actually, I can. I think I'm going to keep this last one, Poe. Uh, but we're supposed to be hiding all ten. I know, but we could give it away live on air. I suppose. Okay. Bring it back with you, then. <laughs> that deflated him so hard. That was the most normal he's been through this entire game. It's time to find the treasure. See, he's touching the headphones. I mean, that, that is how you know you're talking to people. And join the hunt. If you see Monroe, tell her dinner's in the dog. Because you cooked it. I'm an exceptional cook. Monroe, on the other hand, burns everything. Like our friendship. Sorry, Monroe. You know I love you, really. Let's have a little break whilst Monroe Whoa. gets back to the studio. Okay. Good luck, August. Yes, good luck. Things went real weird there. <clears throat> Don't worry, Rose. You'll not be hungry for much <laughs> No, Bo, dig up, stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what Monroe sees Sorry in about him. the mood. It just felt lonely. You're not alone, Alice. You've got me. I don't know, do I? Of course you do. But you know how much I care for you. And your wife? It's complicated. You <laughs> yeah, know. I would love to know actually what's is, so complicated, bud. I'm not sure it is. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just tired, I guess. Tired of your shit, Poe. Is special. The most special thing. And your marriage? It's Schrodinger's marriage. I'm simultaneously married and not what? married at the same time. I am so... Why does Poe suck so bad? Oh. Oh, I hate that description, that explanation, that... <laughs> Fucking Poe. No, Poe, you're married. There's a piece of paper that states exactly where you are at this current point in time. Alice, we're going live. Let me... 
Three, two. Welcome back to Radio August Treasure House. Some men. Sponsored by August Museum. Fucking Poe. Earlier today, Jesus I placed shit. nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find. And one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Curator? Find that capsule and you'll win. A hot dinner day with me, Alice Monroe. Monroe, that's... What if it's a girl? Don't matter. Oh. I hadn't thought about that. I would love that. <laughs> Once again, the energy. <laughs> hot dinner as in the food is hot or a hot date. Yes. Well, I suppose that depends on who wins, doesn't it, Poe? Astounding. Monroe is offering a dinner date with the first person who finds the curator's capsule. Good luck, I suppose. Oh, and spoiler alert, I wasn't that great at hiding them. Finding them should be easy. When you don't know your Much girlfriend is by. You could well, see, here's the thing. Poe. But I already have so much of you already, Monroe. Jesus Christ. Hey, look, we have our first caller. Fucking what? Yeah, no, take that phone call. Hello, it's Eric. Eric Planner. Hello, Eric. What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> okay, I like Eric. Oh, I'm doing a heart shape. Monroe's canonically by. You don't say. Which one? Outside the doctor's surgery, underneath the bench. That's one of ours. Crack it open, Eric, and let us know what's inside. Okay. Well, while Eric's trying to work out what he's won, tell us more about the doctor's surgery, Munro. Okay. It's a doctor's surgery. It's a general practice. I don't actually go there. But I'm sure it's very nice. Boy. Where do you go? I haven't needed to see a doctor since I got to August. I'm more of a holistic girl anyway. Oh okay, dear. Okay, let's put a pit in that then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh no. No, Eric's Monroe, doing. no. Eric? Eric, what did you find? Eric? I can't hear anything, Poe. Maybe his phone ran out of battery. Weird. Shall we take the next one? Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll take the You're next live one. on Radio August. I love you, Monroe. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay. <Do> All right. <laughs> sure. If you find the curator's prize. Please stop saying curator. Your oh, accent is question. like extremely now. West Coast. And and then you do this weird Chicago thing. What was that? Sounds like he dropped the phone. I didn't even get their name. They'll be back on. <laughs> no, I don't worry. It's not a spoiler. It it's telegraphed pretty severely after the first one. About the railway station while we wait. Of course, <clears throat> August railway station was built in 1936 by the Thomas Moore <laughs> Brick Company. Uh, of course, Poe knows this shit. Was between Birmingham. She's English and can't handle American ours. She's handled a bunch of them. She just can't. Down about. Can't handle Five curator ago, for some reason. Because, quite frankly, not many people wanted to come to August. Did I ever say that you're a know-it-all? Not live on air, but I'll take a compliment anywhere it's served. Uh-oh. Po Poe's found his spine. I don't think Caller 2 is coming back. Hmm. Two in a row. What was that about hate fucking? Three callers, that's a record. Well, there is one on the line. Yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this. First time lucky. <laughs> Caller, you're live on Radio August. Hi, it's Jazz. I'm at the crossroads. Hey, Jazz, great to meet you. Have you found a capsule? Yep, it was by the post box. That's one of ours. Now, remember, once you've opened it, try not to lose battery <laughs> or get cut off or disappear. Got it. Opening it now. How many people can I feed to, to Rose? Seriously? This is too strange, Monroe. Life is strange, Poe. No, that's uh, a different game. Right. What are you going to do about it? Maybe we should open the capsule we've got. Don't 
Jinx said, we've got a fourth caller. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just sending everyone into the fucking nether realm. Caller four. You're live on Radio August. Hi, Paul. It's Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Uh, what's that short for? Izzy. Izzy. <laughs> yes? It's, it's short for Izzy. That's my name. Silly me. Where are you, Izzy? I'm at the old well in Briarley. Is it in the bucket? Uh -huh. It's not in the bucket, Izzy. It is nearby, though. All right, now have a look. Please call in have once you've found the capsules, not when you're in the general vicinity. Found it! Excellent. Now, take a look inside and tell us what you find. Maybe the ninth caller, yeah. Izzy? Sorry. Oh, we thought we'd lost you. No, the ledge was stuck. I'm opening it now. Izzy? Izzy? We should open our capsule, Munro. Maybe someone's pranking us. To what end? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am going to keep feeding people. On Radio August. Hi, Munro, it's Eddie here. Hello, Eddie here. What do you got for me? I've got a capsule. Which one? And apparently it's a New Zealand a accent. Box on high road? That's one of ours, although it's not a telephone box anymore. No, it's a, a defib thing. Yeah, and that's used to resuscitate people who have had heart attacks. Good. I think I'll be having one if we go on a date. Well, no one's found the right one yet, Eddie. Or you, we don't actually know that. Know okay, wish me luck. Good luck, Eddie. Yes, good luck. Eddie? He sounded sweet. Sounded. Well, they're obviously all part of the same prank. What if something serious is happening to them, Monroe? Replacing payphones with defib stations? It is actually. I think they have done that in a couple in a couple places. Or we could just open the capsule that's right in front of us. Don't you want to see where this is all going? Yeah, I want to send everyone into the nether. Imagine. Grumpy guts. This is on you, Monroe. I just can't stop. We've got callers. We had. Had. <laughs> Caller six, you're live. Not for very long. <laughs> I'm Queenie. Hi, Queenie. Where are you at? Uh, I'm at the Mary August statue. It's a stunning piece. Oh, I think you're a stunning pieces. Nice. Queenie, that's sweet. Have you found a cat? Finally, yet? someone who's high key <laughs> already I'm like them. And I'm getting a bit worried about opening it. The plot thickens. <laughs> Queenie, are Queenie you might be the or? smartest person. Like to be. Well then, open it up. Okay. I want someone to talk whilst opening it and cut off mid sentence. Another one bites the dust. She seemed quite eager to open it. Perhaps it is an elaborate prank after all. Only one way to find out. Like okay, next I'll person, could you just start singing a song or something whilst we open the capsule? Now they've got me saying capsule. Yeah. Call her seven. Number seven. Monroe is zero for six. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Of course you don't. <laughs> What's your name, caller? It's Helena. And it's you Yvette. A capsule? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm at Orchard Way, uh, the Lover's Walk. The Lover's Walk? Hold on. Monroe! Whoa, Helena. hold on, hold on. What's whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's not really called that. It's just a nickname. Go on. It's just a lovely place to walk. Oh, okay. I thought this was it's another game woods, reference. Monroe, with lots of conveniently placed benches <clears throat> and tree stumps. Tree stumps? To sit on? <laughs> oh, that's so rude. What's he doing? He's being an idiot. <laughs> yes, I have a first degree in idiocy. That I believe. Have you opened your capsule yet, Helena? Not yet. I'm also, Poe, please don't tell, tell me that's that's your whole thing. Got speed. Helener? Why me? was that Helener? So, there was no R. Good night. Well, there's only two capsules left to find. I still think we should open ours. We can do that afterwards. Yes, we absolutely can. What if there's some big punchline for nine? I don't think so, Monroe, but you have... I controls. like how we have been playing this fucking scene out for, for as Call long as eight. we have done whole Hello, other Monroe. chapters. I'm Arvin. Hello, Arvin. How are you today? Better for hearing you. 
and Poe, of course. Hello, Alvin. Not, not so much Poe. <laughs> Alrighty. I'd literally kill to go on a date with you. Okay, well, how many people? That's... Sorry, Jesse Cox? Sweet. I think you're... Why are we saying gorgeous. Jesse Cox? Okay, then. Shall I open the capsule now? Yes. Please do. <laughs> okay, Monroe. Wish me luck. Good luck, Arvin. Yes, Arvin. Oh, hey, I, I found a prize! The that's literally struck seven people in a row before you somehow skips you this time. There's no need to be like that, Poe. Oh, Arvin? the voice actor. For which one? Arvin? <laughs> I'm guessing he's opened the capsule, Monroe. Arvin? Arvin? Anybody there? He's not a ghost. How do you know? Oh, oh, the guy that was just talking? Only Interesting. Got one caller left. How did they find <clears> him <throat> so fast? We didn't even get to find out how Arvin found his. Actually, how Maybe are people finding these so radio. fast? If this turns into a meme, we'll be taking calls like this for the rest of our lives. Shush, Poe. Let's think. We take the call final call. Nine. You're currently live on Radio August. <laughs> hey, it's Q. Hi, Q. Congrats, you found the last capsule. Did I? Yes, you did. We've already had eight callers, so you must be the last. Wow, so... They're, they are geocat. They, they were, available? just badly. Well, actually... Oh, I guess if they're... they're yeah, calls, okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Nine issues. Okay. So it's Apparently, people in August fucking Absolutely. love geocaching. Although I'd recommend not opening the capsule and bringing it to the station first. I'm actually at the graveyard, so that's quite a ways away. We can wait. Just let Q open the capsule, Poe. Don't you want to see what happens? Just let them do their thing. <laughs> There's a challenge even for you feeding them all for rose. That's away, fine. Q. Break the capsule and try to avoid death. Death? He's kidding. It's just that. Whenever someone's opened up a capsule so far, they've stopped talking to us. Why would they do that? We're kind of hoping you could tell us. I can video call if you want. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, Hold on. Wait. Uh, I'm on 3G, so it's not going to work out here. Jesus a lively Christ. story. Thanks for trying, Q. It's totally up to you whether you open your capsule or not. Q? Q? We've just lost nine people <clears throat> in a row mid-conversation. That's a Radio August record. Congratulations to everyone who found a capsule. We think. <laughs> and we'll be back on the hour with the next August update. Until then, stay safe, August. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah, Monroe's got a real oh, vengeful I don't like the sex sunshine. energy right now. I just remembered I made a wish today. What did you wish for? It was trivial. I honestly can't remember. Did it have anything to do with these capsules? Not intentionally. The curator did say something about the capsules being payment for the wish. And you're telling me this now? It just seemed like a little bit of fun at the time. The painting's talking. You made a wish with a talking painting. Now you're saying it, that does sound a little suspicious, doesn't it? You think? Maybe I should go and see the curator again. No, crack the capsule. I want to see what's in the capsule. Monroe, it could be dangerous. That's my little name, honey. Ooh, that was a really fun cut. Looks pretty old. That was a good cut. I like I that. Why we're we here. What did you wish for? Um. So this is gonna be funny. Ah uh, yes. Go on. I wished that you'd never stop loving me. Hello, Miss Monroe, Mr. Pope. This is your wish. This is extremely Doctor Who energy. Where are we? We're here. Huh. Rosa played by the creator's actual That's daughter. 
Where is here? And Nikunopate. Can you let us out, please? No. <laughs> you must love him. Forever. Let us out, or you're getting a smack, young lady. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't risk it. We need to work out what's going on. Adios, amigos. Stay. God, some of these quick time events are very fast. I have a question, which is, do we replay this again next week and make different choices just to see what's up? Is there a lot of replay value to this? I don't think we're meant to, Alice. This is my wish. Can we can we get to Wolf Lane and also possibly maybe there's some save that kid's life and maybe not stab Frankie to super death? <clears throat> What are you looking for? I don't know. If not hit a demon, but I would hurt a demon in a child's body. I guess the problem there is you have to ascertain. Um. Oh, apples and oranges. Hold on. It's a callback reference. I know what you're doing, game. I see it. Apple. Because we did this. I like, we're going, First we're doing a callback. Here, I hope the menu's a la carte. Do we need to eat? Uh, I'm not hungry. Hmm. I'm not hungry either. That's unusual for you. What are you trying to say, Poe? Nothing, just, uh, you, um, tend to graze a lot. Graze? Like a cow? Jesus I love the way you eat. Sorry. Weird. I'm getting crabby. That was, all right. Okay. No. Pet? What are you going to do with the that? The penis might here. The lock? There is no lock. Because there is no door. Pen, apple, apple, pen. Exactly. The pen, apple, pen. Decoration in this place are eclectic. What does eclectic mean again? Diver Can I, this, I know I've said it a couple of times about the whole Twin Peaks thing. This whole fucking scene, this whole thing is, I don't even know if homage is the right word. It's basically. He's got a card. I guess it's not, not a card in this I case, but. Interior design? Yeah. I thought I'd decorate the apartments of the rich and famous when I got older. And did you? No. I was usually doing the walk of shame. That gummy like is gonna come back in style. Nice image. <laughs> Girls gotta make mistakes. Okay, I guess now we'll do the other 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 thing. This one. Why are you dressed like a shitty vampire bellhop? Is this idiom? <laughs> he is a shitty vampire. Yeah, fair enough. That sounds lovely. It's supposed to be relaxing, to help you meditate. Can it open a doorway? Only to one's mind. I want the not Edgar mug. It's a very good mug. It's extremely niche. <laughs> like, only people who played this game and liked this game 
uh, will appreciate it, but... If we set fire to the place, <clears throat> it'll set us free. That's not really an experiment I'd be into. She'd probably just let us burn. See, her hair color is different here, and it's not just the lighting. She's got a, a way stronger uh, red dye in her hair. Alright, we're just gonna investigate all the things. I've played an adventure game before. Do you remember Huntington Beach? Yeah. You refused to go into the sea or take off your shoes. And as a consequence, I got shoes full of sand. Fucking you should oh. take my advice more often. Hindsight's twenty twenty, Monroe. Didn't see this coming. Ah! Uh. I'm so sorry. So sorry. What happened? I don't know. I thought... If I hit you over the head, Rose would see that I didn't love you anymore, and it would break the wish. I think I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but you didn't when then, I did you? To the floor, I felt so bad. Yes, perhaps didn't think that one quite far. Don't enough. worry, you know she's explaining her plot plan right now. Are you okay? I'm fine, Alice. Just, Just concussed. Let me get to my feet. Are you sure? I'm sure. And then he starts vomiting. You you can stay here. But I don't want you to fall, Poe. I'll be right behind you. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. You you can stay here, okay? Listen, it's okay. just come up and sort of the strangling from the first chapter. I think you may actually be onto something there, Manro. I am? The wish. We need to break it. How do we do that? Murder me! Have got to stop loving me. Who said I loved you anyway? I'm being serious, Alice. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. So, you're just going to hurl insults at me? Not necessarily. I can undermine our relationship pragmatically. <laughs> it's already working. Hold that thought. <laughs> yeah, let's let's continue looking at all the shit. <laughs> Let me try calling my wife. <laughs> yeah. I've cheated on my wife before, you know. No, I did not know that. Why don't you enlighten me? I sleep with all my co-stars. Wasn't one of them a guy? I sleep with all my co stars. <laughs> Good way to yeah. commit to the bit. Of course you do. Oh, wait, so now am I looking at all the things for reasons why I'm a piece of shit? Have I ever told you how stunning you look, my love? Where are you going with this poem? Just what happens when we. Awkward by sexual energy, the game? Poe doesn't carry it. Retirement? I'm not sure I can love you as much. When your looks go. I know you're being mean deliberately, Poe. I appreciate how they're reusing the props, though. No. What money do you have anyway? So you're interested in how wealthy I am? No. <laughs> Once them Tata start to droop, I'm outie. Mm. <clears throat> so we did that one. I don't know, back to over here. Though Monroe doesn't seem to be a, a particularly, particularly uh, overly endowed person, so I don't Alice, think there's going to be much droop. Why can't you be more clever? Because I swapped intelligence for modesty. So you're not very modest either. Funny. That was actually pretty good. I lied about Mother's trick to get rid of them. That's okay. You were comforting me. Also, I still remember I you stabbing a man 19 show. times. Are you enjoying this? Yes. Please stop this. Oh, okay, we've done enough of them. This is it, Monroe. 
Get angry. Hate me. I do hate you, you bastard! Silence. No more talking till I say. Oops. I'll kill both of you. Over and over again. All right. Let's do it. She said no more talking. I don't care anymore. What's she gonna do? Kill us for eternity. As Edgar Allan Poe himself would have said. Bring it. <laughs> Get woke. I love you. I love you. Disappointing. <laughs> That was a fun smash cut. What just happened? I don't know. Were you? In a painting. Yes, we had the same dream. Maybe there were chemicals in the That's chemicals. an ending you've never got before. Hey! Yes. Oh, he's finding something new. a hallucination that lasted much longer <clears throat> than the time we've been away. Do you think all the capsules are the same? Probably. You go and get the remaining capsules. I'll visit the curator. But the museum's gone. It's been closed for 50 years. You're so mean to me. Sorry, Monroe. Let's just go quickly whilst we still can. Not even going to apologize, huh? I'm going to keep clicking the not plot buttons. <laughs> You've never seen that before. Oh, I'm glad I could give you something new, Kyoter. But they're all missing. Sorry, Argus. Sorry. Hey, oh. Rose? Miss me? No. How are you here? This whole place. It's my prison. Where are the others? I ate them. No. No, you didn't. You Wait, hold on. For this? Don't open it. Oh, God, grab it. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Manuo. Bum, bum, bum. Nine residents of August have been reported missing. <laughs> and they are all listeners looking for our geocached capsules. There may be more capsules still out there. If you find one, please don't open it and turn it into the police. How are the cops not, like, kicking down your door the being like, you obviously did the something? posing as the curator of August Museum is also wanted for questioning by the police. He's potentially dangerous, so do not approach him. Curator Jones is described as tall, dark, and mysterious. <laughs> Sounds like you, Poe. Don't give people the idea it was me. Sorry. No. I can vouch for Poe's whereabouts last night. Can you? And most nights, actually. Should we tell them what happened, oh, Monroe? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm not sure they're ready. No, I'm going to keep clicking it. Ah, yes. Let's take a quick break now, then, shall we? Ellis, ratings. You can't say things like that on air. Is that all you care about? Ratings? Uh, no. I, I thought that's what you cared about. Being a star, turning Radio August into your platform. That's not me, Poe. I care about you. Whatever you want. You care about me? Care. I'm scared, Monroe. Of what? If I take it 
back if, if that stupid wish somehow comes true again. That's just convenient, isn't it? We should have stayed in that room. Just the two of us. Just what about the, the two missing of us. people? The missing. Being cursed eternity. Just no, the two go. of us. And I feel responsible. Trap arrows. Both responsible. You don't know what happened. Just some delusion. Well, I'm going to help look. Are you coming with me? Or do you just care about Radio August? <sighs> you. I always choose you. Do we get a scene where Poe actually fesses up to his wife that he's a piece of shit? Do we at least get that? Please tell me Frankie starts talking. Where to, Monroe? Adventure, Poe. Always adventure. Fucking drive off a cliff. She probably already knows. She must. Okay, well. <laughs> uh. That was Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. I think. You link the AMV in the, in the Discord? Oh, don't worry. We're going to watch it in a minute. I... I don't know what to say. That was unhinged. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Oh, wow. Not a lot of people talk in spite of Rose. Or send nine people into the abyss. <laughs> Okay. I don't... Okay. Man, I don't even... Uh, I'm just gonna quit that. Go to here. For a second. I... Uh, what? What was that? What? That was... <laughs> such an... Oh no, it has GOG achievements. There's, there are actually achievements that work for this game in GOG. Uh, hold on. I earned six achievements. Let's see what we got. Yeah, how do I view the achievements here? My progress. Here we go. Uh, okay, so I got one for finishing all six episodes. I made nine callers disappear. I wish for love over intellect. You left Casper with no other choice. I mean, I didn't mean to. I used Monroe's safe word. Oh, that's interesting. So you pick clown, and then when you're doing the Dr. Decker thing, if you pick the clown face, you'll say clown. Um. Oh, so the first episode was a pilot. Okay. I've, I've also actually never watched Twin Peaks, but I know enough of it, and I've seen enough, like, clips and bits and pieces of it to know exactly what they were going for. Um, this, this game has big Twin Peaks energy. Ian Love, uh, uh, Livingstone's Death Trap Dungeon is also this kind of game. Okay. Um, this is such a weird, weird game. Such a weird game. I just... Okay. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start with this. Okay. Let's put aside the fact that it's weird. The art direction in this game is also Buckwild in and of itself. Um, like... Again, everything is just high-key horny and uh, just a panto and just, like, cranked up to, like, 
what did I say? 183%. Like everything is wildly extra. And it's all, it all, it, it's got to be deliberate. These are people acting bad or good on purpose. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, Jesus. The thing that, the, my, actually, my biggest hang up for, for this game is that there are certain scenes that, like, based off your choices, and then they connect to, uh, then they connect, like, to the next plot beat, and sometimes they just don't quite fit. A good example is the Wolf Lane thing, where he talks to us, he explains all the stuff because of the stuff I picked, but then he locks us in a room and basically says at the end, just in case you didn't get that. It's like, there's stuff like that that, that feels clunky through it. Um, that isn't just because everyone's acting away. Um, but it was interesting. I think we're going to have to come back and play this some more, right? Right? Yeah, I, I guess I kind of have to. There was time travel shenanigans. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think he got reset at the time, though. Play it after you play the games. You know what? Maybe that's a better idea, Kyoto. Maybe I should go back and play Dr. Decker and uh, and the, the shapeshifting detective and then come back to this. Um, though I will have to look up my choices from the, this video um, so that I make different choices the next time around, right? Um, they're on sale right now on Steam. Are they? Hold on. Let me just check something. Shape. Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't own those games. Hold on a second. Uh, searching for uh, Dr. Deck. The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Uh, sure, view the page. There's so many in that bundle. Holy moly. And what was the other one? Shape shifting? That's not how you spell shifting at all. Wow. Oh my god, there's so many. There's the Mega FMV Bundle. There's the Ultimate FMV Adventure Bundle. <laughs> There's so many. It has some uh, shape shifting. Has some amazingly thirsty, and weird scenes as well. Okay, I guess I have to. I guess I have to add this to the cart. Oh boy. Okay, fine. I'll I'll buy those. Doing it live. Let's well, publish a bunch. Yeah, I can believe it. Okay. That was just a buck wild game. Um Yeah, that was just a, that was just a buck wild game. Um yeah, I guess we're going to have to play the other stuff in the universe so we can This is kind of like almost like um Oh, what was that? What's that uh, one series Rusty Pines? Rusty something? It's like the game I played the white door out of it and they like so there's this whole universe that these games all seem to be based in with with August, this town August. And I always like things like that. Rusty Lake, thank you. Uh, not Rusty Pines. Um, there's actually a, an author uh, I really enjoy called uh, 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 Christopher Moore. And he fantastic writer. Um, and his books edge on the, the, the kind of comedy side of things, but he, he's very good. But he has a whole universe, this parallel universe of San Francisco, um, where a good number of these these stories all kind of take place, and it's all the same universe. So there's char crossover characters that show up and stuff like that. Um, and so I, I I love when creator can kind of create this universe and play within it and tell more stories, just like the like. So you've got crossover characters and stuff like that. I, I think that's I always think that's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, we will come back to Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe, I think. Um, but yeah, I do think we're going to have to try the other games out and then come back to this. 
which is not a thing I expected, but here we are. Um, what would you, I, I, if I'm going to put this all into a playlist, what am I even going to call this? Like, what it like the August Town Chronicles or something, maybe? I'll have to think of something. Anyways, before we end off the night, we are going to pull up that FMV. <laughs> I'm pull clicking the YouTube link. And I'm hitting pause real quick here. Yeah, Discworld's another really good example of like having this. I said pause. Um. Is, is, that's another really, really good example of uh, an author who takes this world and, and uh, expands on it in a lot of really interesting directions. I know I could have picked something like, I guess, Terry Brooks with the Shannara series or like Tolkien with Lord of the Rings, but those give you just a lot of the same. Whereas stuff like Discworld and uh, Christopher Moore and even I'm pretty sure these games they're very different stories that are all kind of connected, but they're very, they're not just, you know, more dwarves, elves, and orcs and shit going, doing elf dwarf shit, you know? Um, okay. So hold on a second. I'm going to full screen this. I'm going to pause this. We're going to go to, where's my desktop button? I can never remember it. There we go. Screen. All right. And this is the Poem and Rote Evangelion um, video made by... Uh, uh Good. Thank you, Coder, for that. That was, uh, that was something. <laughs> uh, you're sorry? Don't be sorry. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Um, yeah, hashtag feed rose. We did the feed rose. We good. Um, okay, well, I guess I know what we're going to be doing for the next little bit, huh? Uh, we, we've got some uh august chronicles uh games to play i guess and uh yeah single you know universe versus direct sequels yeah you know that is that is definitely part of it um i'm i'm so christopher moore actually does kind of both so he has one series that's kind of the main with the san francisco thing with uh bite me and no yeah bite me dirty job and something else um but there's other books once that universe is established that take place in the same thing and have crossover characters, but aren't related to that story, but actually also happen at the same time. In some cases, it's, it's really neat. I do actually recommend uh, Christopher Moore. Uh, pretty much anything he's written is worth reading. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll say that as a blanket statement. Uh, the Blackwell universe, no, Blackwell is still more, well, yeah, so Blackwell, you're right, no, because, uh, um, uh, unavowed is part of that universe and shiva is a part of that yeah um but i mean blackwell is mostly blackwell but um it is getting expanded so yeah 
That, that's fair. <laughs> so, me to my wife. None of us can figure out why she's with him, and maybe he's got it going on downstairs. No, we saw his moves. Old Skies is in the world. Yes, it is. And, uh, yeah, yes. We never played the Shiva. We haven't played the Shiva yet, but I do know it takes place in that universe. Uh, yeah, it's 12.43. I also need to get to bed. I got a busy day tomorrow. Um, because, yeah, I'm moving house on Thursday, so uh, I'm not going to be streaming the rest of this week, very probably, because um, I got shit to, to pack and disassemble and all kinds of crap and then move and then reassemble said shit. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back for sure next week. Um, excuse me. And uh, but that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, well, it's good to know it's good to have a bunch of games lined up for the future. <laughs> um, we've got Divinity Original Sin on Mondays now until we get bored or we finish the game. We now have some FMV games that we absolutely need to play. Um, and yeah, you know, still, it's, it's nice to have a dependable schedule. But uh, that is going to do it for me tonight. So, uh, as always, thank you for coming with me on this fucking buck wild adventure. Um, and, uh, I will see you next time. So, uh, stay safe, have fun, be kind, and try your best out there. Oops, wrong button. Bye-bye.